Today we are doing page 165 and 166. And we're talking about borrowing now, but with bigger numbers than just borrowing from the one. That's what will be different from today's lesson and the last lesson we did on 163, 164. So I'm looking at 1a, and we have 2 minus 3 over 4. Okay, and so we're going to borrow 1 from our 2, so we're left with 1. And remember, the 1 that we borrowed, we're going to make it in the form of the fraction. So if that's a 4 there, well, we're just borrowing 4 over 4. Because remember, any number over itself equals 1. Well, we borrowed 1 from here. And we brought it over to here, where it says 4 over 4. Now we can subtract. 4 over 4 minus 3 over 4 gives us 1 over 4. And then this 1 just gets brought down to here. So our answer is 1 and 1 fourth. Next one, we have D, um, no, B, we have 6 minus half. Okay, we got to borrow from our 6. We're going to borrow 1, but we're not going to just write 1 over here. We're going to make it in the form of a fraction. Since that is a 2, we need to write 2 over 2. 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2 gives us 1 over 2. And we just bring down our 5 from there. And so our answer is 5 and 1 over 2. C, we have 8 minus 1 third. We're going to borrow from our 8. We're left with 7. We borrowed 1, but we're not just going to write 1 there. Instead, we're going to write, since this is a 3, we're going to write 3 over 2. 3. 3 over 3 minus our 1 over 3 gives us 2 over 3. And then we need to bring this 7 down. 7. Since there's no number right here, all we're doing is bringing the 7 down. Our answer, we need to circle it 7 and 2 thirds. D. We have 10 minus 4 over 5. We're borrowing from our 10. We're left with 9. We're borrowing 1. Instead of writing 1 here, we're going to write it in the form of a fraction. Since that is a 5, instead of 1, we're writing 5 over 5, which is the same as 1. Any number over itself is going to be the same as 1. 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 gives us 1 over 5. And then this 9, we just need to bring it down. 9 and 1 fifth. The next one, E. We have 5 minus 2 sevenths. Borrow from the 5. We're borrowing 1, so we're left with 4. Instead of writing 1, I'm going to write, since that's a 7... 7 over 7 minus our 2 over 7 gives us 5 over 7. And I just need to bring this 4 down. 4 and 5 sevenths. 4 and 5 sevenths. Okay. Divide and check. I'm going to let you do all of those on your own. In fact, I'm going to make you do all the rest on your own. You can do it. You are smart. Say it, guys. You are smart. You are smart. Told you.